Offbeat Cinema, brought to you by Mighty Taco. Enjoy the great taste anywhere at MightyTaco.com. Terrapin Station, the world's Grateful Dead headquarters at TerrapinStationBuffalo.com. And Poster Art, your poster and t-shirt gift gallery. Online at PosterArtUSA.com. Welcome, cats, to the Hungry Ear Coffee House. It is a mad pad, daddy -o. Can you dig that? Man, like, I just know that you can. My name is Theo, and uh, with me tonight, as always, of course, is the dark and mysterious Zelda. Theo, Theo, there is one wild and weird vibe in this coffee house tonight. I mean, it must be, I think it's, Holiday magic is in the air. Mm. Wow, wow, it's, it, mm. how, that, that what's in the air, man? I thought maybe I forgot to unplug the espresso machine again, but okay. cats, whatever's in the air, I am like so ready for this film tonight because this one plays like an expose of the Jolly One himself. You know, I actually think you know what you're talking about, Bird, and while that does worry me just a little bit, uh, we are showing the movie Santa Claus, and it is considered by many to be the very best Mexican Santa Claus movie ever made. Oh, you know what I love to say. Give me the best Mexican Santa movie any time of the year. And hipsters, <laughs> get ready to look at Santa in a whole new light after watching this one, baby. Very true, Bird, very true. If you are watching this movie tonight for the first time, you may just think this is some director's whacked out vision of Santa, but in reality, there are some very strange legends and some dark associates that seem to get left off Santa's resume in recent years. Th that's, that's correct, Zelda. And, and that is because most of what we think we know about Santa, how Santa looks and behaves, it comes straight from Madison Avenue advertising agencies from things like Coca-Cola and the New York Times. Uh, long before Santa hung out with Rudolph, Santa hung out with strange cats like the, the Devil and Black Pete. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and Santa didn't just know who was naughty or nice, he knew everything. Everything about you. He kept files on you and wielded that power like a red and white fursuit wearing version of J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. Man, that sounds an awful lot like some of the outfits J. Edgar would wear, but <laughs> kids, once you got on the naughty list, you may never get off. Think about that, you dig? Oh yeah, we dig. And so will you cats out there in the dark. This is one strange holiday movie that you will be talking about for years to come. <laughs> and the movie goes right off the rails from the get-go. I mean, with Santa's little world tour, once the eggnog kicks in, baby. <laughs> So stay with us for this one. Lots of fun guests are stopping by. We have mail to read. And of course, our movie, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Away up in the heavens, far out in space, in a beautiful golden crystal palace right above the North Pole, lives a kind and jolly old gentleman, Santa Claus also known as St. Nicholas, the best friend of boys and girls everywhere. But let's move in for a closer look. Come along. Well now, 
How does it work? What is the sense of it? Like this, Dana. You must light it. Let's have it. So priceless Prince of Hades, that by my many wiles I will finish off Santa forever and see that the children commit terrible deeds and make Santa Claus angry. Go on then, and show the world who is its real master. So be it, Lucifer. Demons of Hades, transport me to Earth. <laughs> and so the devil rose to Earth. You heard what he said to Lucifer, but will he be able to keep his promise? <laughs> On Earth, the children can hardly wait for Christmas Day. They gaze longingly at the toys they hope Santa will bring them. Here is a good little boy whose daddy is quite rich. <laughs> This mother, on the other hand, is very poor. And this is her daughter, Lupita, whose fondest dream is to own a doll. Any doll. like that. But the devil likes rude little boys and it doesn't take him long to find them. They're just right for his evil plan. <laughs> well, one thing is certain. The devil has turned them against Santa Claus. <laughs> Suddenly, he's with him again. Out of nowhere, he produces three rocks, and his evil plan goes into action. This is bad. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! Darn that devil! Oh, I'm sorry, but that old devil is always annoying me with his mischief. If I could only go down there now, I'd put him in his place. <laughs> but everyone knows I can only go down to Earth on Christmas Eve and not before. In the meantime, that old double piece got us a blizzard. Colony water, got out she did not. A short while ago, I saw the devil whispering to four children, and one was a poor little girl. Do you know who they are? I've got their names. The bad boys are. No, 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 no. 
The naughty boys are not important. They will get punished in due course. The ones I must reward are the other children, like the good little girl. I've got their names right here. The girl is called. Uh, better look through the telescope, Pedro. We'll find out what they're doing. This is Santa's magic observatory. What wonderful instruments. The ears scope, the teletalker that knows everything, the cosmic telescope, the master eye. Nothing that happens on Earth is unknown to Santa Claus. By thy magic powers, look for the child we're seeking, whether she's in a cave or behind a million mountains. She's still dreaming about that doll she wants for Christmas. isn't thinking of stealing that doll, is she? No, no, Lupita. You shouldn't steal. Put it back. Lupita! Lupita, come here. So you take it, Lupita. They have more and they won't miss it. What does one little doll matter, don't you see? You haven't got any toys. Keep it. Hmm? Don't listen to him, Lupita. It's bad to steal, and you'll be sorry. That's right. Put it back. Good girl. <laughs> not true, Lupita. If you're good, somehow you'll be rewarded. Show everyone on your list how much they mean to you. Get them the coolest gifts from the most unique boutique. 
Terrapin Station. One-of-a-kind books, clothing, incense, music, posters, and the only place to get your certified Grateful Dead merchandise for a very Jerry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Holiday hours. Holiday shopping is cool at Terrapin Station, 1172 Hurdle Avenue. Stop in and say hi. Poster art. Buffalo's only poster and t-shirt gift gallery. 1055 Elmwood Avenue for the largest selection of Buffalo themed posters and t-shirts. Custom framing, plaque mounting, unique gifts, and more. Stop in or visit us at posterartusa.com. Look for the child we're seeking, whether he is in a cave or behind a million mountains. Okay. soundly. His dream will appear on the dream scope. Connect the antenna for the dream scope. Let's watch the little rich boy's dream. How strange. And what large gift boxes. Would these be toys? Why, they contain what a child loves best. His parents. A dream is a wish that the heart makes. That little child is not wealthy. He gets everything he wishes just by asking his parents. The only thing this child wants is the love of his parents. Don't they love him? Maybe they do, and maybe they don't. But soon we may find out the truth. And Lupita, what do you think she might wish? If she's already sleeping, we might be able to see her dream. I wonder if our child is dreaming. I recall when I was a little girl, I often would dream of great riches, that I had all the things I wished for and not a care in the world. But at times I also dream with the devil. Confounded devil, why can't he leave Lupita alone? Oh, 
Look, look at that old busybody. He'll make Lupita want to steal again. He'll be part of her dream. How awful. Better look at her dream now. is going to pay for this. The very minute I get to Earth, he will pay for what he is doing. And the three little boys, the ones who broke the window, maybe they have done more mischief. Santa Claus, salgas que que machoca? Yes, look for them. Mai no majo no chikara de. Ay no nakani, hay ti temo, se no cabeno, shironi temo. Botuga, sagash te iru. The three boys are beneath a large bed, but they are speaking in a low voice. Let's tune in the ear scope. Now we will learn exactly what they are planning. older than I am. Those youngsters have got their nerve. Next to the devil, I'm just a child. It's just that I haven't been well lately. <laughs> My dear Santa Claus, the only thing that I wish for is that my parents can stay with me the night before Christmas. I don't like to be alone, but the most important thing is that you bring me a little brother who is just about my age. 
because I get awfully bored. Get me a papa. That would be super. I guess Stephen and Mama. A train with lots of tracks and a bicycle too. A flies horse. An airplane that will fly. And I want a ball, big and red. Milk their shoes to wear. On Sunday. And as my two little brothers have behaved very well, you must see that they get everything. <laughs> Welcome back, cats. We just know that you are enjoying our far out holiday classic tonight. Hey kids, how are you feeling about Santa right about now? And this one really puts the, the sugar plums in a twist, doesn't it? As we were all talking earlier about the Santa legend and how it's really been sanitized in recent years by American newspapers, uh, like Clement Moore who wrote the, the poem Night Before Christmas as a New York newspaper writer and the advertising agency that gave us that sort of sanitized Santa that that we know today from a, a series of Coca-Cola ad campaigns back in the 1940s. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just lighten up things a bit, shall we? I mean, come on, it's Christmas. It's the holidays. What's your favorite Christmas movie ever? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of good ones to choose from, but, but I think I would go with the movie Gremlins from 1984. I believe it's a Joe Dante directed film. It's got a great little Christmas vibe underneath the whole okay. thing. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a good choice, good one. You know, if anyone asked me, I think I would have to, man, it's a hard one. I think I would have to pick either It's a Wonderful Life or Love Actually. Ooh, those are both very good. Mm -hmm. But you know, I have noticed that in this film, uh, the, jolly, the jolly elf uh, looks more like uh, Chuck Heston as Moses in the Ten Commandments <laughs> than Santa, which, you know, actually really kind of gives you something to think about. Yeah, well, I can see. You've <laughs> really been thinking. Well, anyway, cats, now back to our movie, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus, 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 Santa Claus. More Santa Claus? More Santa Claus. Off they go. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. <laughs> Wonderful! Marvelous! Stupendous! Just look at all those letters! <laughs> they don't forget old Papa Noel, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus! <laughs> My dear Santa Claus, this year I have behaved very well. I have been obedient and have studied very much. For that reason, please try to bring me these toys. A toy automobile, a submarine, a football, a bat, roller skates, a scooter, a cannon, a rocket, a bicycle, an atomic laboratory, a machine gun. Ooh! Ooh, golly! And many thanks. <laughs> so be it.
And as my two little brothers have behaved very well, hmm, you must see to it that they get everything. <laughs> A falsehood. Hmm. See? There's no fooling Santa Claus. Huh. Into the liar's box. Dear Santa Claus, please bring me a little brother. <laughs> Here's one for you, Mr. Stork. <laughs> to get our work finished. It's up to you. <laughs> Here is Merlin the wizard. A little absent-minded, perhaps, but Santa's most devoted helper. Oh, Merlin. Merlin, where are you? Mr. Merlin! Mr. Merlin! What, 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 what's the matter? Oh, Santa Claus, what a start you <laughs> gave me! <laughs> this new rainbow is quite unusual. <laughs> I suppose you've changed the colors again. This one will surpass the others. When the rays of the sun enter the rainfall, poof! A variety of wonderful colors will fill the entire heavens. <laughs> well, Mr. Merlin, tell me if the sleeping powders are mixed. The dreaming powders that fill everyone with joy and goodwill and the flower to disappear. Uh, well, what's the date, eh? On the earth, it's the eve of the 25th of December. Oh, so it is. In three minutes, they'll be ready. I shall reveal to you the secret of the magic stardust concocted by Merlin, oh. which is unsurpassed for sound sleeping. Please, let me go by. <laughs> to begin with, you need an urn, which is an alloy of copper, nickel, uranium, plutonium, and platinum. You freeze it with the light blue flame of frozen fire, and next thing, it's ready. So as you have seen, it's very simple, right? <laughs> Let's see now. Open up your pack. A little. Ah. Huh? <laughs> and the dreaming powders that fill everyone with joy and goodwill? You know about them. The only thing you have to do, Santa, is to remember that you must sift them. Yeah, the same as last Christmas. Don't you uh, remember? Yes. I'm afraid I have forgotten. As a man continues to get older, he begins to forget everything. Every year, my memory fails me more, and it seems I'm good for nothing. Huh. And the flower to disappear? What flower? To disappear. You've disappeared? You're already in bad shape. The flower to disappear. Ah! Oh, well. Here you have it. Smell it, and you disappear. <laughs> well, well what, what do I have to do to make myself visible again? Oh, what happened to your memory? Can't you remember anything? The same as last Christmas. Why, of course. <laughs> Ah, much obliged to you, Mr. Merlin. Huh. I'll be back again to see you next year. Transheavenly Airways. 
flight SC-707, Super Reindeer Special, red carpet flight to Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, via the Milky Way, now morning. Here's a list of all the gifts, names, and addresses. Well, just put it over there. Well, thank heaven I still have a very good memory, hey? And I know every single child on Earth. <laughs> Well, just to make sure, why don't you take it with you? I've really got to hurry. It's almost time for the crystal clock on the wall to strike ten. Don't forget that you've got to return to the castle ahead of the sunrise because the sun will turn the reindeer into dust. Oh, oh, oh no, sorry, no. I'll be here, all right. In that case, I couldn't get back to the castle. And on what they use for food, I'd perish. Because here our main food is pastries and ice cream made of soft clouds. And on the earth, there's no such thing. What food do they eat on Earth, Santa Claus? Oh, everything in sight. They eat most of the animals, the plants, the flowers, the roots, birds, even smoke <gasps> and alcohol. But enough of this talking. We're wasting time and I must be off. <laughs> Up, my children, get on with your packing. It's the night for Santa Claus to fill all those stockings. Merry, merry greetings I take to one and all. So hurry if you want to enjoy the Yuletide fun. And now, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let's see if I have everything. The bag with the powders for dreaming of joy and goodwill. The flower to disappear. The golden key that opens all doors. The sleigh. And now I better make sure my reindeer are running. Yes, Santa's sleigh is really a huge toy sleigh. And he has to wind it like any other toy to make it go.
That was close. He almost ran into the moon. And here's the planet Earth. I wonder where Santa will go first. Europe? Africa? America? Think of all the nice things you'll get from Santa Claus. Yes, Mama. That's a good boy. See you in the morning. If you get bored, you can go down and practice your piano lesson. See you later, my darling. I knew it. The devil is nearby, and these three certainly are up to no good. Okay, listen now. As soon as Santa Claus lands on the roof here, all three of us will jump on him. We'll tie him up, and we'll stick him in a sack, and then we'll go home with all of Santa's toys. But what about Santa? We can make him our slave, and all his candies and toys will belong to us. So whenever we want something... Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Better not talk now. He can hear us and get away. Santa Claus will be here any minute now. Mama, and who is Santa Claus? He's the man in the store. The one with the red suit and the white beard that was laughing very much. And does uh, Santa know about me? Mm-hmm. Is he real like my daddy? <laughs> no, not really. That one was the dummy. The real Santa lives in a castle and comes here once a year. What does he come for? They say he gives toys to children who are obedient. I don't think he likes me. He has never brought me any dolly. It's not that. Maybe you forgot to ask him for dollies. And if I ask him for one now? Go ahead. Perhaps he'll hear you. We can say a prayer, dear. Mama, please don't cry. It's just that it's Christmas. And Christmas always makes me feel sad. It brings back memories. Mommy, what is Christmas good for? Well, to remind us that Christ was born many years ago. And he was even poorer than we are. He was born in a bed of straw. You know what, Mama? I already asked Santa Claus for two pretty dollies. If he brings the two, I'll give one to little Jesus. Yes, my darling. Maybe we we'll pray with all of our might. Hmm? There's just some things that man was not meant to know? I don't know, Bert. I, I, I just don't know. Uh, perhaps some things are too mysterious to know. In fact, they are incomprehensible. Incomprehensible, wow. Like quantum physics or those car commercials with Matthew McConaughey. Mm. You know, that can only mean one thing. The Malison? <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we, we got, got one lovely That's card, nice. uh -huh. and the card says, what does the card say, Zelda? It says, the challenge is staying open in a world designed to close you up. Oh, wow, that's deep. Keep going, the card Stay says. Open. And this is from our friend, Karen Lovett from Ohio. Oh, and nice. Karen just <laughs> writes, thanks for mentioning her card and et cetera on the moon landing. She loved that and wish us a happy birthday, and thanks for you and the help of Philo Farnsworth, 
the boy who invented TV. Well, we're right with you, Karen. Where would we be without Philo? That's true. This I do not know. And cats, where would we be without you? And you know how to reach us. We're on every platform imaginable. Even the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> the U.S. Postal Service, just like what Karen knows. So put pen to paper and drop us a few lines or find us on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Let us know what you're thinking, and what your don't desires forget, are. <laughs> don't forget our website. The Big Kahuna. Oh, and the website, which will lead you to all roads. Offbeatcinema.tv. Now, something really incomprehensible. <laughs> this <Our> movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> While Santa steers his sleigh towards Earth, Old Devil Pitch awaits his arrival. Here comes Santa now. First stop, Mexico City. <laughs> it's freezing. I wish you were back in Hades tending the furnaces. <laughs> He's heard Santa. <laughs> I say, near he is. I'm glad that I'm prepared to upset his old Merry Christmas. <laughs> we will see who wins out. This is one night that no one can take from me. <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, ho. He's going to push the chimney out of place so that poor old Santa won't be able to enter this house. Santa realizes what's happened. <laughs> well, what's happened here? I can smell sulfur. Well, that must explain this. That old devil pitch must be around here. <laughs> find a way. He's not one to give up. Well, there's more than one way to beat the devil. Santa will jump down using his magic parasol. Old Pitch hadn't counted on this. He's almost green with anger. Santa, they'll see you. Oh, 
Why, of course, Santa can handle this. All he has to do is use the magic dreaming powders prepared by Mr. Merlin. And it isn't long before our two little stay of lates are sleeping soundly in their bed. chimney back in place. doesn't give up either. And he seems to be quite happy about his next plot against Santa. coming down this chimney now. Uh-oh, he's all right, but that was close. Hot enough. <sighs> what do you think of that? But Santa sees what Pitch is up to, and he isn't afraid. looks out the window to watch Santa burn his hands. Doesn't seem to know he's right behind him. Oh ho, a cannon. Now it's Santa's turn to get even with Pitch. Oh, 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 oh,
This holiday, show everyone on your list how much they mean to you. Get them the coolest gifts from the most unique boutique, Terrapin Station. One-of-a-kind books, clothing, incense, music, posters, and the only place to get your certified Grateful Dead merchandise for a very Jerry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Holiday hours. Holiday shopping is cool at Terrapin Station, 1172 Hurdle Avenue. Stop in and say hi. Poster art. Buffalo's only poster and t-shirt gift gallery. 1055 Elmwood Avenue for the largest selection of Buffalo themed posters and t-shirts. Custom framing, plaque mounting, unique gifts, and more. Stop in or visit us at posterartusa.com. The Offbeat Cinema Set is a procreation of Buffalo's own David Butler, Western New York's premier designer for theater, film, television, and events. Go to davidbutlerdesigns.com and connect. I'll do something for you that I only do for children who are very good. I would let you see me as I am. And therefore, I will use the powders that will make you dream that you're awake. And now, awaken while you're dreaming. Sunny, just as much as your parents, because no one loves a child as much as his parents. Only at times the parents don't understand their children, and the children don't understand their parents. And are you really sure that they love me when I'm left all alone? Yes, of course they love you, and you must believe they love you. And now, go back to sleep again. It was all a sweet dream. When you awaken, I wish you much happiness. Goodbye. 
It's been a long time since I've seen the Martins. They're both looking pretty well, though, aren't they? That's a strange cocktail, isn't it? It's the cocktail of remembrance which only I can prepare. Whoever drinks it will think of that which is most dear and which at times, for some unknown reason, we seem to forget. That's a beautiful thought. Perhaps we need a reminder. Very possibly we've forgotten someone we love. Love can be expressed in many ways, but the truest love is that which we give without expecting anything in return. The greatest reward for those who love sincerely is love itself. So drink my cocktail and you will become aware of that love which is closest to your hearts. And those without love? They couldn't drink this cocktail as it would burn their throats. Well, since we are very much in love, may it always be that way. he disappear to? I don't think he was just a waiter. He didn't seem to be a stranger. That kind look, the white beard. I knew that face when I was a child. Couldn't be. If his beard was white when you were a small girl, he'd be dead and buried by now. Now that's strange. I suddenly have an urge to see our little boy. Let's go home. Poor Billy's always alone. I feel that he's needing us, too. He'll be so glad. Come on. This is really cool. Where'd you get it? Well, this, Zelda, is uh, a one-sheet poster from the original screening of tonight's movie, Santa Claus. And uh, this is the poster that would be dragged out year after year <laughs> after year at cinemas across the, uh, the U.S. Uh, every Christmas Yeah, season. I see that it also won the Best Family Film Festival Award in San Francisco. How cool is that? Well, not so cool because, uh, number one, uh, there was no San Francisco Film Festival at the time, and, and uh, number two, uh, it, it, there is no such thing as a Best Family Films Award either. But that didn't what? stop them. You know. Santa running a racket. <laughs> That's kind of what it was. Every year at cinemas across the USA, the Santa Claus racket, and you're seeing it tonight here on Offbeat Cinema. Dig it. Pitch hasn't done too well by himself against Santa, so he's back to seek the help of these boys who so far are the only ones willing to listen to his evil plans. They may think it's smart to help him now, but they'll be sorry, for his advice can only get them into trouble. One of us better get over there behind the water tank and take the rope along. When we spot Santa Claus, Zowie will pull the rope and knock him down. Got it, that's for me.
we're so dumb. Stupid fools. You certainly turned our plan into a horrible mess. He'll never lick me. I can promise you that. I'll make him pay dearly for all this. Ooh. That scared me. The light almost blinded me, and that music was so loud. It scared me, too. What a noise. Hey, maybe Santa Claus has something in our house. Shall we go see? Yeah. Let's go. Some present for our Christmas. Santa Claus doesn't like us. We didn't get anything. It's all your fault. It was your idea. Don't be a sissy. We're not complaining. Well, anyway, it was his idea that we should go up on the roof. My idea? The fault is all yours. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Coward, you kicked me when my back was turned. You be glad it wasn't me. In that case, it was you. And you haven't got the nerve to say you did it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Terrific. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, beat your brains out. At least I've got the battling. Lucifer will be very pleased. <laughs> I'll teach you. Ouch! 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 to steal Santa's sleigh. That's a relief. The reindeer won't obey him. Tough luck, Pitch. Uh-oh. A pair of scissors. Look out, Santa. Greening powders. Now Santa won't be able to put anyone to sleep. On my heavenly reindeer, for there's much to be done. <coughs> and there goes the flower to disappear. And now Santa won't be able to make himself invisible. What are you going to do now, Santa? flower to disappear doesn't fall into bad hands. Santa goes on his way not knowing that his dreaming powers and flower to disappear are gone. <laughs> Santa is not afraid of 
that dog. If he goes after him, he still thinks he can disappear. Go get him, Daddy. See that old goat. Bite him. Finish him off. How can old Pitch be so mean, sticking a vicious dog on Santa like that? <laughs> the powders, the flowers that disappear. No powders and no flower? What do I do now? Run, Santa! Climb the tree! It's your only chance! <laughs> get out! Go away! Scott! Shoo, get out! Uh, uh, uh. That certainly was a very funny sight. Old Whitebeard in his sack, running as if the devil himself were going to take him below. You'll pay for your mischief. You just wait and see. Hmm, but first you'll have to come down from that tree. And I can have a lot of fun before you can get rid of Daddy. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake up everybody. Ah, nobody can hear your voice. Oh, they hear it in the form of their own private imagination or ideas. Let them see how foolish you appear. <laughs> There's a prowler out there. He's come to kill your wife and your children. He's really quite vicious. He's hiding up in your tree. Defend yourself. He's going to murder you. He's going to murder you. Mr. Molly! Apparently, no one is in Santa's magic observatory. Try to awaken. There's a man outside. Marie? Marie, get up. I think that we're in danger. What? Yes. Oh, yes, the assassin is out in there. Assassin? I'm not going. Hurry, get out of bed. Go after him. Sure, but uh, where's the pistol? Where you keep it? In the drawer? In the drawer. Oh, in the drawer. In this drawer. Why, in this one? Oh, oh in this one. Here it is. Go after him. Come on, don't be funny. Me? Yes. But I... But I... <coughs> when it's cold, I can't be expected to go out. I might catch pneumonia. Uh, <coughs> right for not listening to Mother. Come on. Snap but, it up. Pneumonia but, or no pneumonia, you go. But Marie, understand? Where did you gonna get your get father? Get my father? Wait, I must put on my robe. Here Come it is. Come on, then. Stop fooling around. Don't wait time. that address, please, won't you? Don't expect anything from Santa Claus. He doesn't bring toys to poor children. Didn't I tell you to keep that doll? Silly. So now you won't have anything. You are poor. Mama, Mama. What is it, dear? Don't the poor people get anything from Santa Claus? Who told you that? Uh, no, my darling. Santa Claus is good to all of the children who are obedient. It's no matter if they're poor or wealthy. To bed now, my darling, and sleep well. Look, Mama, it's almost day, and Santa Claus hasn't come. Sleep now, darling. 
Sleep now and you will see. Maybe when you wake up, you'll find it, darling. But go to sleep now and have pleasant thoughts. My poor little Lupita. Who can tell if Santa Claus will come to our house this year? He's awake now. Hurry up, or you're going to get away, Bill. Hurry, hurry, you go out first. No, please, ladies, first. No, this is no time for manners. Well, I'm Let's not going to be the first to go. Let's no. all go back to bed. Hey, everyone, I want to play cops and robbers. Oh, oh fine, oh, cops and robbers. Oh, 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 Merlin, Mr. Merlin. Hey, what's that? Can you run? Follow me. Can I run and follow you? Better tell me what's the matter. And I'll decide whether I should run and whether I should follow you, eh? Santa Claus is in danger. He's calling you urgently on the teleprompter. Oh, well, in that case, we'd better hurry. Let's fly now. One for the money, two for the show. Away we go. Hurry, Mr. Merlin. This is no time to play horsey. Santa's in danger. We let her analyze the situation. You're the bravest one here. You can take care of a million men. <laughs> Let them all see now that the only brave one here is you. All the men are cowards. You are a woman. Put them to shame now. Hmm? Are you sure the whistle perks? What? I mean, the pistol works? Why, of course it works. Ah, if I were only your age? Mm -hmm. If I were your age, it wouldn't matter if I lived or not. You're both brave as bulls, but neither of you will go out there. All right, you heard what she said. You go first. No, we'll both go. We'll both go and see what happens. The Red Cross, the fire department, the police. What a jam poor Santa's in. Everyone will see him. You hear those sirens? They're for you. The show is about to begin, and you'll never get back before sunrise. <laughs> Your reindeer will turn into powder. You will starve to death. And I will rule the earth. Santa <laughs> Claus! It's me! Merlin! Merlin! Where are you? Here, in the observatory. Why, what is the matter? In just a few minutes, it's going to be day. Return now. They've got me in a tree, Merlin. I dropped the flower to disappear. And also the powders for dreaming. And this beast just won't let me come down. All this confusion has been prepared by Mr. Pitch. Well, now. Hurry, Mr. Merlin. Hurry. Run. Uh, where can we find Santa Claus? He's already been to Asia, Europe, and Australia. He must be on the American continent. <gasps> I think I see him. He's in Mexico. Oh, golly, but he's in a terrible fix. And there's no time to go to his rescue. And the sun is about to rise. Bad joke. Bad joke. Against good is bad. Against black is white. Against a bad itch, scratch it. Against thirst, water, against mad dog. Against mad dog, against mad dog. A cat, a cat, a cat, a cat. A cat, Santa Claus, a cat. Please be quick, Merlin. 
Now hear this. My time is almost over. This time it's serious. Against Mad Dog, a cat. Use one of the toy cats that you wind up. And the dog will grab the cat. <laughs> Let's go now. All together now. But don't push me. Don't push me. Just a minute. You make me nervous. Oh, come on. Hurry up. I can handle this, but don't leave me alone, huh? All right. We're with you. Come on. Where's the body? How many are injured? They'll surely find Santa. Nothing in sight. Can't see anything. Better look around. Don't push me. Leave me alone. No, don't do that. Oh, 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 why should you? Oh, it's only a hose. Be careful. It may be a whole gang, but don't worry. Try to be brave. Be calm. We must all be brave. That's it. The hose. It's all over the place, and there's no one to be found. Let's make sure the fire's out. There's some smoke over there. Well, that serves him right, the old troublemaker. He'll probably catch pneumonia. But he asked for it. Wait! The flower to disappear has fallen right into Lupita's house. Did you find work? Nothing, my dear. Nothing. Now go back to sleep. It is very late. Just go ahead and think of all those wonderful things. Then was I just dreaming, Mama? Dreaming that he left me a dolly outside in the patio? Maybe next Christmas. Not this one. But he said he was a beautiful dolly. Thank you, Santa Claus. Goodbye, Santa Claus. 
Thank you for a wonderful and merry Christmas. And so once again, Santa returns to his palace from his yearly Christmas rounds. He is happy and gay. For once again, he has brought joy to the children of the world. Wow. Wow, yeah. Wow. Guess who just found the new Bird Christmas Eve family movie? Yeah, you know, this really did give us a, a different view of Santa, and, and now I can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think this film clearly showed that Santa's eggnog benders never ended well. Oh, man, do I agree with you, Zelda. I, I think Santa enjoys holiday botanicals, and I'm not talking about holly and mistletoe, if you catch my thought. I catch your thought. I feel like I need to watch the original Miracle on 34th Street right now just to get back into my Santa groove. Hey. <laughs> okay, well, cats, we hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did. It's a true offbeat cinema holiday classic and a favorite of beatniks everywhere. I agree. I think we are all in the holiday spirit just a little bit more after watching this movie. <laughs> so Feliz Navidad to all, and to all, keep, keep watching, watching the, the skies. skies. Yes. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.